one of the great, most atmospheric venues anywhere in the football world. We're at the home of Borussia Dortmund. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray. I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and England defender, Lee Dixon. And tonight we've got the semi-final of the Champions League coming up for you. It is Borussia Dortmund against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, Derek, with the final so close, really important for both sets of players to stay in the now. Block the final out of the mind. Stay in the semi-final and do your job. Borussia Dortmund side, Roman Burki begins in goal, Mats Hummel starts alongside Manuel Akanji in central defence, Julian Brandt plays alongside Axel Witzel in central midfield, and so many different ways to configure an attack, in this case it'll be two men up front. famous yellow wall away to our left a big reason why the stadium here in Dortmund has become so iconic you'd have to think as a player it must be a knee trembling experience well it must be I mean it's knee trembling up here in the stand there's fans and commentators but when you get the nitty gritty onto the pitch sometimes these stadiums blow you away and you've just got to keep your nerves introducing the Paris Saint-Germain starters the Costa Rican Kaylor Navas gets the nod in goal Bernat plays with Thomas Meunier as fullbacks and Mauro Icardi starts together with Kylian Mbappe and underway now in this Champions League semi-final first leg it's with Guerrero Sancho now into the advanced position he could pick out a teammate and across the touchline so a throw in here on the ball Torgan Azar Marco Reis he'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge it might be perfectly set up for the counter attack you know will they profit from this situation Gay, beautifully disguised ball and turned out of play so it will be a throw in this is Neymar Verratti now Neymar and at the far post is Di Maria and so it will be a corner and fired over by Angel Di Maria that's a routine take a few years ago we didn't really think of Paris Saint-Germain as potential Champions League winners suffice it to say Lee those days are gone well absolutely and it's about time really that France and especially Paris had a powerhouse in European football and they've now got that they're building on what they've done in the past but certainly they're emerging as a real talent Icardi and he has just veered into an offside position this time Verazzi now this is Neymar here is Juan Bernat still level here but the pressure escalating Bernat and teammates to play it to the ball with Marco Reus Hakimi and slipped through beautifully superb block on the back of the ball from the flank
and firing it into the area. Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. On and on he goes. Just unable to get his cross beyond the first defender. Minier. Now Minier. Verratti. I don't think it's overstating it to say that the Champions League is the holy grail for Paris Saint-Germain. And my goodness, Lee Dixon, they're in with a chance here. Well, they are, yeah. I mean, their domestic league is kind of given every year. They just stroll to the Championship. This is a real test for them, though, this comp. He must finish! It's still alive! Gay. Gay. Minier. Di Maria. Royce. Guerrero. Zagadou. Manuel Akanji. And given away by Dortmund. Jaden Sancho. Akimi. The cross is on. A poor cross, all things considered. Verratti now. This is Neymar. Bernat. Neymar. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Icardi in the middle. And the danger clear. It will be a Paris Saint-Germain free kick. <laughs> and he whips it in. That's going to be all for the first half here in the Ruhr region second half of this Champions League semi-final first leg underway Neymar moving the ball nicely looking for that final pass and now Gay Neymar Mbappe read it superbly to take back possession can they hit on the break? Can they keep it going? Kylian Mbappe, such a burgeoning talent, but if he analyses this performance, and you're going to analyse this performance, is he going to be cross with himself? Well, no goals for him, no real chances either. He needs to help his team a little bit more just to get involved in the game. I think he would be the difference if he was playing better. Here's Icardi. Di Maria. Gay. Di Maria now. Now with Akimi. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front. Now with Akimi. Marco Royce. Sancho now. Beautifully weighted ball. Accurate ball and draws the near post. And Royce puts it in. What a terrific save after another. Now with Akimi. Playing with purpose and control. And crossed in there. And he did what he had to do defensively. Di Maria. Now Minier. Cavani. Marquinhos. Neymar. And now Gay. Di Maria now. Di Maria. This is Neymar. Di Maria. 
Cavani. Di Maria. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. And Neymar. Now Minier. No nonsense clearance. Emre Jan. Time is running out for Dortmund. Can the players respond? There's nothing more the crowd can do. On the ball, Torgan Azar. He's got the right idea with that pass. Grant! Still possibilities. Into the goalkeeper's grateful grasp at the second time of asking, but first time around, it was a good deal more complicated. Oh, it was a fabulous save initially. He gets the ball in the end with great relief. Minier, just 10 minutes to go. This is Neymar. Verratti. Moving the ball effectively, looking for the right moment. Neymar. Mbappe. Di Maria. Mbappe! And he's held it easily, Burki. Brandt. on the scent of something positive they've regained possession this is Neymar we have entered the final minute of normal time and the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time Neymar here is Juan Bernat PSG on the attack as the minutes stick away what can they do in the closing phase?